Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Brett and I Millimeter USA here and this is going to be a review of the Holosyn HS503G. We mounted and tested this site after we got it in on the Carry's Guns Paramarauder AR-15 pistol firing 400 plus rounds through the Marauder for that review. So this red dot site has been heavily tested and it hasn't had any problems whatsoever. <laughs> So this side has the choice of either using the very crisp 2MOA dot that Holosun is known for or the other side picture that Holosun is also known for and so is EOTech, big time. The 65MOA circle around the 2MOA dot. To change the reticle on this side you press and hold the minus button. So first I'm going to turn it on by pressing the plus button and here you can see the dot there. Let me turn it on for you guys. So I'm pressing and holding now the minus button and it just changed the reticle, although it's out of focus. So I'll show you guys what it looks like in a sec here, as far as some B-roll. The sight has nice clear glass and a 20 millimeter objective lens, so the sight has a good wide field of view as you're looking through it. So you can definitely do some good tracking with this site of targets. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's great. It was fantastic on the Carry's Guns AR pistol. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed the site a lot. So let's go over the function of this red dot site real fast. To turn the site on, you press either the plus or minus button. And from there, you can go up or down in brightness via the controls. So now I'm going to press the minus button. You'll see it dim down the reticle. Now we're going up in brightness. And to turn the side off is very simple. You just press both buttons at the same time. And the side turns off. Very simple and easy to use. I agree completely. It was one of the easiest ones to use that's out there. The HS503G runs off of a single CR2032 battery that is located in the compartment right here, right next to your windage turret right here. So you just loosen it and there's your CR2032 battery. I love the sites that have them very easily accessible to be able to change out your battery on the side right here because you don't have to run into the possibility of stripping out a screw or anything like that. That's, in my opinion, kind of a problem with the other Holosun optics, like the uh, regular 503, you know, because it doesn't have the side-mounted compartment right here that's easily removable and to change out your battery. The other thing that's great about it is you can change it out with it mounted on your rifle. Yeah. You, you don't have to take it off. Exactly. That is, I think, should be the case with all of them. Leave them on your rifle. You don't have to re-zero them or anything else. You just change out the freaking battery. Nice and easy. So I think the reason why they have to do that with the uh, regular 503, the uh, battery tray on the side that's plastic with the two little screws that are very easy to strip is because I think that uh, having this battery compartment right here interferes with how they mount the uh, solar panel to it. Oh. So I think that's the reason why they do it that way. But I think my dad agrees with me. I think we prefer the uh, side mounted ones. Absolutely. Because they're just easier to maintain. Yeah. If and you, maintenance is key. Yeah. And if you're going to spend your money, guys, make sure you get one that's like this. That way you can just simply switch out the battery, leave it attached to your rifle. You don't have to re-zero it. It's, you're right back in the game after you put another battery in it. Yeah. Advanced Warfighter Magazine. So speaking of the battery on this optic, 
It does have a 50,000 hour battery life on setting six with just the two MOA dot. With the 65 MOA ring around the two MOA dot on brightness level six, your battery life decreases to 20,000 hours, but that's still a lot of battery life. I personally, I don't like my reticles to be that busy, so I normally just run it with the two MOA dot. It's gonna be a personal choice. For those that grew up maybe using EOTEX, yeah. you're gonna like that 65 MOA circle. So this one solves both of those. This is a replacement for that very expensive EOTech that went bad after 10 years. And you're getting into something here that's a heck of a lot less money, but it's very familiar to you. So I think it's a great buy for that. If you're used to just having a red dot, then leave it at just the red dot, turn it up a little bit if you will, and keep your battery life nice and long. Okay guys, so this side has a lower one-third co-witness. So you can see your irons on the lower one-third of the site of the red dot itself. And it does have a one screw mounting system here on your AR. So you only have one screw to deal with as you tighten it down. So guys, this side has half MOA adjustments as far as windage and elevation. How you get to the windage and elevation turrets is you have these little covers right here that also have a built-in adjustment piece. Right there, you can see the little flat head on it, so that's nice. Of course, you can also use just a standard, you know, flat head small screwdriver on it. It's very, very positive to clicks on this. So listen to this. Very nice. So each click is a half inch move at 100 yards. And the turrets are O-ring sealed, so the site is completely O-ring sealed. It is fog-proof, waterproof, and shock-proof. Very well-made optic here. It's going to be steel ammo. This side is made out of 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum. Very high quality site here. And if you guys don't like 6061, Hollow Sun does make models now that are made out of 7075 T6 aluminum. So made out of mil spec grade aluminum. So you can step up if you want to, if you just want to spend a little bit more money. I don't know how much more they are. I think they're like $100 more, maybe so, even two. Yeah, some people have money to burn so they can step up on everything that they want to step up on. So it's good to bring that up just in case you're interested. One of the best things about this Red Dot site is that it is very lightweight, weighing in at only 4.8 ounces. Shooting it on the uh, AR pistol from Carrie's guns, it doesn't feel like you have anything on it. Yeah. And that's the truth, guys. So don't let weight here you know, affect your decision at all. If you like the optic and you like the price, get it because you won't feel any additional weight. It's the size of a uh, Aimpoint T1 or T2, and it actually can be used with Aimpoint T1 or T2 mounts. So that's very good to know. If you don't like this mount, you can get a different mount for it, made by American Defense Manufacturing or whoever. So again, this red dot sight system had no issues at all. It stayed on the entire time. 
It had no power problems at all. It didn't lose zero and the mount didn't loosen at all during the use. So over 400 and whatever, 20 rounds of 5.56 was fired and this site just kept running like a champ. We liked it a lot and we highly recommend it guys. If you're looking for a site that's not too expensive, this was a great site. So if you're interested in purchasing this product, click on the buy here link in the description box below this video. It'll lead you right to this product on opticsplanet.com. It's for sale over there for $242, which I think represents a good value. So if you do pick up this site over there or anything else, make sure you use our discount code B9USA to save 5% off your entire order. I hope you guys enjoy this review and if you're interested in this red dot site or anything else available from Holosign, Go ahead and check out their products and website via the links in the description box below this video. All right, guys, last magazine. rounds 100%. no problems as always everyone thanks for watching the video remember to like share and subscribe to our channel here on youtube beretta 9 millimeter usa for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future and if you would like to support our channel go check out our patreon page